Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we are going to see how to prepare and assign a test on Edmodo. Basically, this video is only for those teachers who have already joined Edmodo. You know it very well that Edmodo is a website for quizzes and assignments. So you will go to library. After going to library, you will go to my quizzes if you want to assign a quiz or if you just want to prepare a quiz. Uh, I have already prepared a quiz. I just want to show it to you to save your time. Um, uh, this test is uh, nine English quiz for of poem Neem Tree. So let's see this. Uh, initially, you need to show this detail quiz title. Prepare here. I would suggest you to mention the name, class, and subject, and also the name of the chapter. And write some instructions for his students as I have written that Allah dekh raha hai liyaza imandari se hal kijiye jazakallah khairan. So you can write any instruction whichever you like to. So then we will go to quiz questions and here you have a lot of options. So let's see. Number one is um, I can show it to you. You can see true false, multiple choice, short answers, blanks, matching and multiple answers new. So I selected this true false and this was the first one. The poem, the neem tree was written by Allama I. I. Kazi. So true or false. You can see I have mentioned that it is false. So don't forget to mention your correct answer. If you do not mention a correct answer, definitely the software will not check it correctly. So again, I would suggest you to mention correct answer and don't forget to check it. So for grading, you need to mention points. So you can mention 0 0.25, 0 0.5 or one number for MCQs or true, false, whatever you do. Now let's see the second one. This is multiple choice. So scorching means I have written three options, cold, same and burning. Here I would like to give you one suggestion. Please don't mention uh, A, B or C. Just write options don't mention a b and c and then grade again you would whatever is suitable uh, one point or point uh, five or point two five match the same words means match the column or matching so here i have written to look after means to take care of to put off means to postpone to take off means to remove and when you assign it, definitely it will mix up itself. The students have to match it. And now grading 1.4 per correct answer means there will be three points for three answers. Um, uh, similarly, you can give them short answers as well. Mention a question. What is the central idea of the poem? And um, I have mentioned five points. I would suggest you to write and give two points or three points or one point. Um, because uh, uh, whatever your total marks are according to marks distribution you can mention but uh, this answer will be checked manually um, automatic grading of this answer will not be done so when a students attempt for multiple choice question for blanks for true false uh, uh, grading will be done automatically but for short answers, you will check properly. So you will find three options, completely correct or completely incorrect or partially correct. So if you, as if I take this question, so there are five marks. So if I say completely correct, automatically five marks will be given. If I say completely incorrect, zero marks will be given. And if I click partially correct, uh, so then there, there will be a, a box will pop up and you will write your own numbers like 4.5, 3, 2, whatever the marks a student deserves. You will mention those marks. So in this way, you can prepare your test. No need to assign it right now. Right now, you can see there is an option of assign to assign it. But I don't want to assign it right now because I just want to give a specific time to a student so as to attempt it. So how will I assign it? Suppose if I say to a student that on Friday at 12 o'clock, the test will appear and till 1230, you need to finish it. So a student will have only half an hour to attempt this assignment or quiz, whatever you like to call it. 
so uh, it is saved in my library now uh, whenever you mention these things these all short questions are uh, short questions or matching or uh, uh, multiple choice automatically it will be saved in the library there is no option to save it but it will be saved automatically now you can close this bar but later when you want to assign it so you will go to this option and just click assign uh, whenever you like to assign it to a student so that's it i hope this video was uh, very helpful uh, to all of you so don't forget to subscribe my channel and click the notification bell for uh, so as to stay updated thank you so much everyone